putting coolant in and distilled water. And we are using the fleet charge, which is specifically designed for these wet liners. You don't get the cavitation and stuff. You can't put regular green uh, in these. Comes Nick. Coming to pick up Tyler's old pony motor. That is the craziest looking moth I have ever seen. Looks like a piece of candy, don't it? Mm-hmm. Let's try and get interesting colors. It's probably poisonous because I'm so close to it. Man, nature is amazing. I just want to pet his little fuzzy head. It's gonna fly and scare the snot out of me. Are you gonna start running? Yeah, I might scream too. <laughs> Wait, let me get the camera. He's hiding the scuff mark on your paint. <laughs> Stay right there. Started up in a couple minutes here. This is the next morning. We did the first start last night. Got about five minutes run on it. We just uh, drained all the water out of it, filled it with coolant this morning. It's good to go. Oil level's good. Uh, we're gonna fire it up here this morning, air the bus up, get the blocks out from under it, and then immediately take it out on the road for a test drive. Get it under a load for a while. That's really good for the rings to get it run on under a load. Um, no leaks at all that we've detected so far, which is really good, but five minutes of idle time isn't really a, a very good leak detector. <laughs> so as soon as we get a few miles down the road, we'll pull over and check it out. And we're going to hope that we're going to be pretty leak free. So he's going to fire it up here in a minute. Air it up. Clear. Should start right up. seconds, let it go back to idle for about 30 seconds and then shut it off. and the oil pressure numbers to me. 
actually while you're going down the road just kind of say about what they are. You don't have to. Yeah. Yes. What number we got? 20 on the boost. 20 on the boost, that's a good number. Remember what you used to get? Oh yeah, less than that. Oh my god, I noticed a big difference now. It's <laughs> like it's flying. <laughs> a little bit here and then I'm going to have you kind of accelerate up the hill here for a minute just to see how it feels once that guy turns go ahead and get on it a little it's all pedal to the metal right there going to the governor it's a big hill it's doing good so it's increasing speed they might be stopping holy here. cow <laughs> That has never happened before <laughs> since I have it. Still, everything is below the marks. Oil temperature is getting to. Uh, yeah, let this guy go. 200. Water is about 185. We're going to go straight through this series of lights here. Speed limit is still 30 here, so be careful because this hill will want to send you 75 down it. here on Highway 50. should feel a little peppier than before. Oh, it, it does. 
You are powering up this bad boy like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I still got more pedal to go if I want to. <laughs> and the propane, yeah. if I need to. The thing you got to watch is your temperature now, because you have all that power, but you got to make sure you got the yeah. coolant ability to do it. But you're not even close to running warmer at. No. A hill like this, though, this is a, probably a mile long. No, I'm accelerating. What's your temperature, water temperature? Uh, not even. Uh, 180. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, no, no. 165. <laughs> 165. I got closer to the gauge. It's 165. <laughs> yeah, you're you're going up this like nothing. This has never happened since I had it. Pressure good? Oil pressure just got between the hatches. Uh, 220, no, 200, 205. Oh, oil temperature. What's the oil, oil pressure? Oil temperature. Oil temperature, you said? No, I wanted to know the pressure. Oh, you no, gave, you it, gave me it's the right between the marks. Okay. 60. Okay. He's got little cheater marks drawn on all his little gauges so he knows where they're supposed to be as long as they're in between the two marks. He's good. It's a much easier visual reference point than trying to guess what it's at. Like the pilots. How fast are you going, Speedy? Uh, I'm going about 58. have to put a new low hash on there since we went with those 170 thermostats. Right. Transmission temperature is 100. <laughs> Amazing, all the leaves have started to come on the trees now. Yeah. It's going to be very impressive in a couple more weeks. Something like this would have been a death sentence to you before. Yeah, super slow. <laughs> Super slow.
laboring a little bit here. This is really steep. Yeah, I slowed down a little bit since okay. so I, I don't see the Oh, because you're on the curve. Yeah. I, <laughs> I still oh, yeah, it's accelerating now. be the fastest up the hills but it's definitely the fastest down the hills. <laughs> this thing wants to go. <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> Gravity takes control. This will be a good test of your acceleration on the interstate because it's uphill of course. <laughs> Push it for me, just because you know if you're used to going slower, go slower. But it's nice to know you've got that in the yeah in the bank. Usually, just kind of go 55 because that's all it really wanted to do, or well, I was babying it, yeah. You know, I, I knew something was wrong, I didn't really want to you know, take it to, uh, to the max. You know, I would plan, you know, when and, when and where I was going to pass, obviously. I knew I didn't have oh, so many, not many horses to do so. I just felt that way. Yeah, it's good. Well, you certainly won't hurt it by keeping it at you know 55 to 60. That'll be really good for it. It's almost very hard to overheat them running at that kind of speed. Right. When the guys try to go 75, 80 on a hot, you know, 100 degree day. Yeah. I'm going 67 now. Oil pressure, water temperature, and then in the range. Everything kind of below or close to the low hash marks. Water temperature is still like about 62, 63, 162, 163 maybe. The wheel temperature is a little past 200. Cool it. Water temperature? Water, water temperature is 163. What's the oil pressure? Oil, pre uh, oil pressure is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm past. 60 right now because I'm okay. still trying to accelerate on this hill just yep. to see. But That's good. If, if I go back to 60. Yeah, temperature on the transmission is maybe 110. So get on it a little bit here to accelerate up this hill. There it is. All the way to the metal, I'm accelerating. See the needle going. 65. Sixty-eight. This is a 
pretty decent overpass here. 70. It's still going. Turbo boost is right around 20. Below 20. Uh, nope, it hit 20 right there. Yep. Right now. 20, 70. You got plenty of power, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. You're passing uphill. <laughs> yeah, it's still accelerating. Uh, almost 75 right now. <laughs> yeah, that was very easy. Never done that before, huh? Never. <laughs> it, it just feels different. You know, I can, I can read it. More action, you know, as soon as I press the pedal. Oh, yeah, much more responsive. Yeah, much more responsive. He was saying when I wasn't recording that his, his foot feels weird because he's in different positions than what he's used to holding the position, you know, at a certain, is the throttle position of his ankle. He has a muscle memory and it's so much more responsive and more powerful now. It's different. told them to get off on the wrong exit and now we're on a super curvy skinny road. This would not be a good road to have an incident on. I was trying to stay on roads with shoulders. <laughs> My bad. We have faith in your mechanic, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's beautiful. It's just a little sketchy. Yeah. It's hilly, it's twisty, and some some of the turns are like NASCAR banking on it. On your trailer. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. There'll be more on this yellow line, that's for sure.
work on that steering wheel on this road. <laughs> My bus would have not been able to climb up that hill right there with acceleration like that. slow down for the next curve. <laughs> Your co-pilot was scared shitless. <laughs> Typically when they have a sign that warns you about 30, I try to go about 20. Uh -huh. <laughs> scared when I hear the tag scrubbing off a little back there. <laughs> there so I get to go wider
had a motorhome before you got this? I had a 24 foot trailer that I used to tow. How many years did you have that? About four. This was the dream, you know, the yeah. motorhome where I can say, hey, uh, co pilot, <laughs> can we give you a sandwich? <laughs> Don't worry about the curves, I got those. <laughs> Need some water. Need some water. And if I need to go to the bathroom, it's right here. Yeah. The trailer had to look for what obviously part. accelerating up these hills. Gonna take it easy here. This, this is a crazy uh, one. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the road either. And that is some the banking on the road is probably ten feet from one left side to mm -hmm. the right side in elevation. Right. This one says 25 miles an hour, I think. <laughs> Are you telling me because you want me to slow down? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you that 15 sounds pretty damn nice. <laughs> I'm almost doing 40, so <laughs> hold on to your shorts. This is pretty sharp. <laughs> this is a wonder lodge, my friend. <laughs> it's gonna go anywhere. Yeah, it's wandering all over the road. <laughs> well, you stuck me here. Whoa, that guy was halfway in your lane. What an idiot. <laughs> I haven't heard any dishes go crashing yet or anything. <laughs> Everything found its happy place, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, this morning I just looked around just to make sure everything looked right. I would have spent more time if I knew I was going to take this road. <laughs> Definitely just gave it a heck of a stress test. Yeah. And brake test. And steering. <laughs> and co <cold> pilot <laughs> test. Co pilot sweating like a whore in church. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not over yet. Look at this curve. <laughs>
pressure is close to 200. Oil, oil temperature. temperature, I should say, oil yeah. temperature. Oil pressure is right below 60. Lined up behind you. There can't be many. Oh, just two. So I think <laughs> going fast. Yeah. I would have probably had a funeral procession. <laughs> I didn't have all this horsepower now. And, uh, Forty-five. You saw it, right? Yep. I think the the bad turns are done now. <laughs> the bad turns. Size of agility for a motor homeowner for sure. We looked, at, we looked at some property right up here on this road on the right down here. What's the verdict there, Jerry, on the, what was that, about a 40-mile, oh, 50-mile test drive? Yeah, two thumbs up, my friend. Thank you so much. It has more power, noticeable. It just feels like a different bus for sure. now to go to either before I needed to floor it so to speak. Why is it shut off? I don't know, it must be a loose cable. <laughs> Turn around now and back into your spot.
gonna let it run for the turbo to cool down. Jerry has reported in. He's made it safely home. It was not quite 800 mile trip that he took. No complaints at all. He said everything was absolutely perfect. Just to show you where we're at here with the shop, the last two Wonder Lodges have really helped out with the budget for getting the concrete foundation in here. So hopefully within a couple of weeks, you'll see that. But we've got everything site leveled here pretty well. We're getting ready to bring gravel in. Four inches of gravel is gonna come in first. But uh, it's looking really good out here. We removed these three persimmon trees yesterday. They were, uh, A, they make a mess, but they were just a little bit too close for what I wanted out here to, the, to where the shop was going to be. Uh, especially this one was kind of leaning towards it. When it had to come down eventually, it would have been a kind of a nightmare. Um, so anyways, yeah, we're uh, coming right along here on the shop. Have a little bit more uh leveling to do here just a little bit we've been compacting and leveling and it's within two inches of level all the way across right now i'd like to get it just a little bit better before we bring the gravel in though so we're we're getting there and we're super excited about it can't wait 